haven't you bought something yet? Where are you, Scabbard? You can always trust the gun at your side.
Valley. Market. It it was good you. times. You could probably take Hell the next man, I'm sad. Is this what sad feels like? She's you kill the crap out of Jack. Stuff. She ain't acting all hoity toity because she's got a real doctorate. You know what? Let me know if you're looking for work. I got stuff that you're doing. As I've said, Roland, now that Jack has the vault key, it is only a matter of time until he opens the vault. Also, I require a new ventilator. This lab smells of bacon. Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest. I have deduced that Jack the Vault Keeper and the original connected on a deeper level. Had Roland not forced me to relocate to Sanctuary, I would not be alive today. I am unpleasantly surprised to find that I am sorry that Roland is dead. Mordecai told me what happened to Roland. So here's what we do. Mary Roland saved this planet, and we killed Jack. His associates, his friends, his family, everyone he's ever met. We still want their own goddamn teeth! We went our separate ways a few years back, but Roland was my friend, and nobody, nobody hurt my friends! Sorry to bum you out like that. Somebody needed to tell him. I've transmitted the code to Roland's armory to your echo device. If anyone deserves what's in there, we'd all be a badass friend and watch it. Hey, Roland, handsome Jack here. Remember me? My men kicked your bandit asses out of New Haven and killed your little pal Willard. Do you any bells? Anyway, I hear you and the rest of your little buddies have relocated to Sanction. Ah, uh, Vault Hunter? Little help? Look, it's a long... No, it's a short story. I write short stories. We were supposed to divide the take four ways, but somebody up in the picnic won't be splitting up. Oh, those idiots still screaming at each other? Marshall Freeman here. If, if you want to do me a solid and shut those morons up so I can get back to my nap, then know that only one of them will tell you the truth. The other three are liars. If you could figure out which one of them robbed the other and pop in the head for me, that'd be awesome. Huh. Guess Jim did steal the cash. But we were friends. That's sad. Yeah, we learned that Jim stole the cash. This all be for nothing, amigo. Find Jack. Kill Jack. Help 
here. Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters played a game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we're gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina! She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Necromancer, the Commando, the Siren... Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not... here anymore. Probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said, roll for initiative, sucker! You arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place used to be really nice until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate. It's a lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge. A far cry from. Wait. Didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of skellymans. They start shooting at you! Hold it! You get close to the entrance to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly... The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears! Surprise attack! Oh, I want to smack it. You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing! The dragon attacks, and... Boom! Critical hit! Great. Are we done now? Tina, uh... You can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Monster Monster Monster. Monster. Everybody back up! Wasn't my time! Oh, 
pills. Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is... Mr. Bone Does that work? This All right, the road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. Don't worry. Go there. Go, go, go. I am unused to the emotions I am currently not fast enough. Huh? <laughs> 
You've entered the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of battles and stuff. What you gonna do now? Stop playing this game. Let's talk to some town folk. A grand idea. The Queen hath gone missing. Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the Queen doesn't return, we shall never see the sun again. <laughs> Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blam! Girl looks like she got a problem. I punch her problem. The night is long. I talk to you. In character. Treasures. I'll crack your mind and beat your problems to death. She went into the forest to bring the light back to the world. So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree of life to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just for a second. Whoop, time out. I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Torque! Tina! Put me in the game! Okay! The gatekeeper is now Whoa! Mr. Torque! Tough decisions. You so I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude to get past me! First task, blow up the village of scouting clips with the fire whip. Because reasons! Flims <laughs> are too far away! Don't be afraid to get rough. 
tank. Oh, oh, come on, all right. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'll never see nothing douchey again, I promise. <laughs> Bitch! That is unacceptable! Chase him down! Chase Punch him so hard he explodes! Get him! Punch him! Woo! <laughs> No sense. Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Well done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest. Our way. All right, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to Scots. Awesome. Anyway, I'm called Daddy, the gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. I shall meet you inside and serve as a guide. Enter the forest of tranquility. See the numbers. Tranquility. Boring. I've got it. Dang. Now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. Damn. You find a jewel on the ground. The Maybe the queen left it to mark her trail. Then we should follow the jewels that lead us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily style says. Just stick to the main road and you'll be ace. This forest grew from the corpses of my enemies. Ain't that a kick in the ass? Hey, maybe after I kill you, a fern will grow uh, out where you going? or something. We're exploring. You may not want to do that. I only balance the combat on the main path and... Oh, no. supposed to kill these things.
Whatever. Looks like you just need to collect some blood fruit. What the hell? What's a blood fruit? It's a squishy thing that grows on the trees over here! The blood fruit grew on the tree ants. Well, they do. Think you're cool enough to grab the fruit without killing the tree first?
Shoot me till you love me. Nice. different yeah. oh it's the where's your birdie your little birdie friend tina we told you what happened to bloodwing Look at her. <laughs> so anyway she's so cute where is she let's just play the game all right i am but a humble merchant and these are my wares coins for bullets bullets for coins Welcome to Dr. Zed's Portable Clerk Station. You stabbing me? Not fast
I just remembered, this next fight won't work unless Roland's here. We should probably just do the first Stop it. Roland's not... Oh, I got an idea, I got an idea! The gatekeeper says... More Orgus scrolls. Retrieve the white light, for only he can open the way. Now I know just where he is. Wait, fight! Eternal of life! This can't be helped. Roland doesn't talk like that. He does when I'm voicing him, bro. Anyway, what are we looking for? She's the most beautifulest woman in the history of ever. Chody's got legs for days. Wow, that was unhelpful. <laughs> Tina? <laughs> Tina! Sorry, <laughs> just thinking about them legs. Huh? 
come! Death birth! Enter the dwarven mines. You hear the anguished wails of the sorcerer's political prisoners and enslaved dwarves. Coins yeah. for bullets. Bullets for These coins. mines house Ragnar, king of the dwarves and leader of Can the anti-sorcerer resistance. Magic bullets? Mayhaps, if you talk to the dwarves, you could join forces and become unstoppable, mayhaps. You Don't worry, boys. Buy. My charisma is off the charts. I'll convince him to... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Lily. Looking for a highest <laughs> You're in the right best. place. Twenty! <laughs> Ooh, sorry, Lil. Looks like Brick's gonna talk to the Dwarf King. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Stay still. 
I punch him! Rick, don't. If you just talk to him, we can... I punch him! Uh... Killing me here, Brick. I'm getting taunted by a 13 year old girl doing the voice of a grown man. I told you guys we should have waited for Roland to play. His character has the highest leadership skill. Huh? you see a lonely wizard blocking your path. Maybe he can help us out of here. I say we talk to him. With words. I don't know why y'all looking at me. Oh, no! Another band of adventurers looking to take down the sorcerer. Look, you won't make it. You either die or be enslaved. And I can't in good conscience let you continue your full-hearted quest. You shall not pass! Damn it! Fine. If you really want to get to the sorcerer's castle, I'll mark the exit on your map. But if you die, you won't be able to say I didn't warn you. The exit is locked by dwarven door locking magic. Well, damn! Now, how do we get out of here? You know, that wizard may know something about dwarven door locking magic.
puzzle look exactly like Salvador. That seems kind of... Uh... Yeah, I know, Free Lily. You think it's racist or something? I'll sell downstairs if he thinks it's racist. Hey, Salvador! Is it okay if all the dwarves in my campaign look like you? That is awesome! Oh, yeah! Not racist.
I want to break stuff! Is that how you wanted huh? us to solve the puzzle? Huh? Yeah. Let's go here. I like it. And letter F. One letter F. Oh, and with the sorcerer's power coursing through my veins, you'll never get it! Brainwashed him into running this place. You also notice a weird ass magic well, cloak. Like you might be consuming. Now three and die! Uh. <laughs> a boss fight? Let's do this! Good for now, regret All the way back? Oh, man. All right, girl, all right. Here. I made some glowy portals for your laser butts. Did you just say laser butts? Whatever that is, I want it. We have to unscramble that? Is it raft? I bet it's raft. Was that not the password? Oh, God. I just figured it out. <laughs> so say it. I. It's. <laughs> Art. <laughs> Thing to say. <laughs> yeah. You ruin everything. 